Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I want to talk about optimized versus maximalized, or maximized, I guess maximized is the right word. And the reason I wanted to bring this food for thought for you uh, this weekend is because we just had Black Friday, the Christmas season has started as far as shopping, you have an extra week because Thanksgiving was early, and before you get all wrapped up and wound up and stressed out, uh, I just wanted to give you a little food for thought. So back in February I started the KonMari decluttering method in my house and um, I have stayed on the wagon and it's been a kind of a slow process. It started off kind of big uh, but then, you know, you just kind of like peter off, but you're more maintaining and just, you know, um, you just kind of go into maintenance mode, I guess. But it has really changed um, the way that I buy things, the way that I store things, um, deciding whether to keep things, and it's really um, changed my outlook on stuff. So um, if you've been going along this journey with me, maybe you've cleared out a few rooms or a few closets um, or a few categories of items via the KonMari method, um, I just wanted to kind of give you this... I don't know, support, I guess, before you start going crazy in the Christmas shopping season. So um, before, I would say I lived my life in a very maximized way and not an optimized way, meaning like my craft room, for instance, during the KonMari method, I got rid of about half of my stuff. Um, it's all in the same amount of space though. So, I mean, if you think of, I, I think it's definitely pretty full. It looks well stocked. Before I had every nook and cranny crammed full of stuff. If I needed to get something, sometimes I had to pull out four or five boxes of things just to get to that one item I was looking for. So that was maximized, but it wasn't optimized. Now I feel like my area is optimized. If I need a bottle of ink, I can reach right down on that shelf and grab it. If I need a <clears throat> sheet of red cardstock, I can open up my cabinet and grab that one sheet that I need and not have to rifle through a bunch of things to find or to uncover or to dig down to the one thing that I actually am going to use. I don't regret anything that I've gotten rid of. Okay, there was like a piece of window screening that I got rid of that actually we could have used, but um, but that was like one thing that cost a couple bucks to replace, so not a huge deal every, you know, which I don't think is bad considering I got rid of half of my stuff, uh, half of my uh, my art craft supplies anyway. Um, so before it was maxima, I was, I was maximized, but I was also more stressed out because it took me longer to do anything. It took me longer to clean, took me longer to find, took me longer to think uh, because I was just overwhelmed with all the stuff. Of course everybody's gonna have different levels of what is too much. This will be too, what I have now is probably too much for a lot of people. It might seem sparse to a lot of people. Everybody's different and you just need to kind of know uh, how you fit in. But also my schedule was maximized and not optimized. I would get up at six in the morning before anybody else up. I would go through my emails. Then I would, you know, make breakfast for the kids, get them off to school. My husband would go off to work and then I would, you know, know, start filming and start creating and just push, push, push. And then until it was time to make dinner. And then I go back on the computer again and answer comments and answer emails and just push, push, push until I was just so tired that I couldn't keep my eyes open. And then I would go to bed and then I would wake up at six in the morning and I would start all over again. Um, I wasn't getting enough sleep. That's one thing that wasn't maximized. I wasn't getting enough, um, exercise, I wasn't getting enough relaxation. So those things were all suffering because I decided to maximize in other areas of my life. So now I'm definitely more optimized. I changed my channel so that I am uploading every other day instead of every single day. And that has just made a huge difference in my life. It's made me more relaxed, happier, healthier. Um, and it's it's a good thing. I, I, can't, I can't think of anything in my life that's suffered. I mean, maybe my channel has a few less views, but you know, nothing substantial. Um, I feel like what I'm putting out is generally better than what I was putting out before because I am op trying to optimize what I'm doing and not just rush through and maximize and do as much as I can. Sometimes you're going to have situations where you are maximized, like maybe you have something like a big event coming up the next day and so you have to stay up late to get ready for it. Um, once in a while, I don't think that's a bad thing, but if you find yourself uh, pushing yourself until, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning every night, only getting a few hours of sleep and then getting up and doing it again every single day, then that's going to be a problem. That shortness of sleep now is going to lead to a shortness of your life down the road. Uh, so I want you to think about that, all of those, the maximized versus optimized as you're getting ready for the holidays. Think about your dishwasher, right? You put your dishes in the dishwasher to get clean, right? If you cram that dishwasher full of too many dishes, none of them are going to get clean or maybe only half of them are going to get clean. The results are not going to be worth the effort that you're putting into. So you need to kind of find that balance where the results you're putting in are equaling the effects you're getting out. So just like cramming your dishwasher full of too much stuff and none of them getting cleaned properly, that's kind of what happens in your life. If you cram your life full of too many things to do, nothing gets done right and 
you know, you just kind of stay in this mediocrity. That's what I think anyway. Some people are definitely more effective than others. Um, like I think of my parents, they're very effective. They can pile stuff on and get a ton done. Um, I am definitely not as effective as my mother, <laughs> for instance, but that's okay. We all have our own levels of what we can accomplish and do well. So, you know, you probably heard why don't bother doing it if you can't do it right. Now, I'm not saying don't bother doing anything if you can't do it perfect, because I think perfectionism is a whole other problem. But I would say, you know, if you can't do it well, maybe you need to take out a few things in your schedule so that you can do it well. If you're doing it well, but you're not enjoying the process, then maybe you need to remove a few things so that you are enjoying the process. You get one chance, guys. You get one chance at life. Okay, that's it. If you give yourself a heart attack because you're pushing too hard on the wrong things uh, and you're not taking the time to rest and get exercise and eat healthily, then you're gonna pay for it by your shortness of life. So just kind of kind of think of that. If you are um, if you are spending so much to get ready for Christmas that you are paying back the debt all next year, and because of that, you need to work extra hours, you need to work harder, you're more stressed, just so you could have a few more things under the Christmas tree, is that worth it? I don't think it is. Um, and most of the people that you're getting gifts for might not even remember that, that gift that you worked those five extra hours to provide. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna cut it short because my furnace just kicked on and so I know that's kind of annoying for you to listen to. More annoying than me, so that's that's gotta say something, right? Um, but I just wanted to give you that this for this holiday season. You can have a few fewer gifts under the tree and be relaxed. Give that gift to yourself. Think about yourself. Uh, a little bit and don't stress yourself out put yourself in an early grave because your people that are around you your friends your family members you are the gift they want to receive your time your attention your friendship and love that's what it's all about that's what they want to receive um, be optimized and not maximized this holiday season and, and onward so that's it that's all I had to say I don't know if it's helpful I hope it is let me know in the comments below until next time, happy crafting.